Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. It is almost Thanksgiving of 2022 for my SEO guy. This is gonna be labeled uh, a sunroom. Uh, so a lot of you guys have followed me on our YouTube channel. We appreciate you watching. I uh, wanted to explain just a qu quick couple things. If you're doing a sunroom, look right here that this used to be the addition on, or just the back of the house, right? And you can see where the beams were and the overhang, okay? This was all added new. And so I don't know if I did a video on the rough end and I apologize if I did not. Uh, but basically I just did 120 amp circuit, ran everything in a 12 gauge wire and you do have the DF, the breaker. Um, and so that way nothing else is on it. But you have to treat it as such the same that, so right here, um, I'll have the other, see right, go ahead Rob right here. But this, um, yeah, come over. Close. This power came in that we fished, luckily, through the basement to the basement panel. That came up here to here to feed it. And that then began our power coming through. Our hardest point was right in these areas to get through. We had a notch plate with metal plates so nothing got damaged. And then bring the power down in. Uh, you do have to have an outside coach light or a floodlight. We have a future light here in case they want to do a three-way with a, a radio raw or some kind of Lutron system. This is a rope light to switch that outlet up high that's a half hot. I think they were thinking about building a shelf there and then they can just slap a rope light up there and go both ways. This right here, you still have to follow your rule of 612 coming in around the room. And the fireplace is a break of the opening, so you still have to have an outlet next to it. This one can count for the outlets to be served. I don't think the inspector is going to get too particular on coming around this wall from that break to here. If he does, I'll drill through the, outs the inside of the outlet through this living room and put a plug where this box is. But I don't think he'll get that harsh. You do have to have an outlet over here. It's more than 20 inches. Yes, it's behind the door. But with the framing, I couldn't get it any closer to the left to get my conduit in. Okay, all of that I had to have a rough in inspection to check my grounding on my metal box for that car flex and all the other stuff. And basically, guys, yeah, we did put in the Nora lights. They had, oh, they had those, those tips, i lights, actually. We put in the ceiling fan. The newer fireplaces, uh, we do have an igniter switch. Nowadays, they have remotes. You don't need it, but I still wire it in with the just a simple doorbell or a 14-2 LED wire. Five, and then right here is your, your blower for your fireplace. Normally, again, that remote will do it, but I still traditional that I like to have that. My ceiling fan disconnect. The remote acts as if a, a ceiling fan three-way here to here. Uh, keep in mind one other thing. These guys had a horrible problem with getting windows. And so this literally was roughed in in May. They got a permit. I thought I was going to be getting my rough in inspection within two weeks. Uh, four months later, I was able to finally get my rough in. And then it took them a few weeks to get the drywall siding. My point is this, is that the siding wasn't even up. And I had to come back and notch plate behind my boxes. Because when the siders came in, there's four areas they would have shorted my wire out. I prefer to have siding up before I rough in. But thank God we had those bigger notch plates and put them in behind the boxes because when the nail plates came through the nail, it, it bent the nail or the staple for them. Um, so again, it is important not just to have tie back on, but you should have it sided as well. But they could inside and tie back because they had a problem with the fireplace. So it was really a tough uh, six months on this poor sunroom for these guys. Uh, for us, it was in and out within that two days of roughing in and then, uh, boy, just about three hours to trim out. So it was pretty simple. So guys, I just want to let you know, but yeah, you still have to follow code. I did do one room, a uh, sunroom, about six years ago in Fort Collins that was completely glass. And we had to use cement floor boxes and they had a monolithic pour. So the inspector still expected us to have floor outlets even if we had no wood to put in outlets on the wall. Of course, it's cheaper, usually just to put in wood outlets and boxes like this. 
Guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully, I'll help you out in your expectations of a sunroom. Bye.